Some big announcements out of Apple's spring-loaded event. Hi, everybody. Karen Roby here with Tina Maddox and Bill Detweiler for Tech Republic. You know, a mostly hardware-focused event here, you guys. A very colorful one at that. Uh, Bill, right out of the gate, let's start with you here. Kind of overall impressions and a general theme. Yeah, so obviously this event, like all the events in 2020, was pre-recorded. Um, so it moved a little more quickly uh, yeah. than maybe Apple events of the past, which is always a challenge uh, for us journalists trying to cover the event in real time. You, you don't have those um, pauses that you would get when people come on and off the stage. Uh, but still, uh, you know, what we've come to be used to over this last year. Um, I thought it was interesting this year. Uh, Tim Cook had uh, tweeted out a really colorful image, beautiful day. Uh, I guess, or at least when the image was taken, um, showing a rainbow of colors. And obviously that would play throughout the, uh, uh, out the event. And there was a lot of stuff today. I mean, they went through everything with Apple cards. They went through air tags. We got podcasts. Uh, we got, of course, the uh, new M1 iMac, a new M1 iPad Pro. So th there was, there was a, a lot to cover. Um, one thing that I did find interesting is when Cook started uh, the event, he led off with Apple's carbon initiatives um, and some of the work they're doing with companies like Goldman Sachs around that. And then throughout the throughout the event, they with each product they talked about, they, they really made a point uh, to put their environmental um, efforts behind those products in them. And they've done that in the past. So this isn't brand new. Um, but I did think it was interesting to see them start off the event with that. Yeah, I agree, uh, Bill. Definitely an interesting way to start things off here. And Tina, before we kind of break down and, and dive a little bit deeper into the, some of the specifics of some of the uh, some of the hardware, some other announcements made, some things that were put out there, um, what what highlights stood out to you? One of the things that caught my attention early on was the Apple Card family, which was kind of mm -hmm. cool because they're now the Apple credit card is going to be able to be used by your kid, if your kid is 13 or older, and also um, spouses or partners can share an account. So it's like a joint credit card account. And, they, and Tim Cook said that this was to, you know, just to give um, financial equity to everyone. And I found it really interesting because in the past, the Apple card, you could not um, share, you know, like a another user couldn't get a copy of the card to use. Um, you definitely couldn't give one to your kid. And I feel like this is like coming, at, it's kind of competition with the other cards that are aimed at teenagers. Um, like my son has the step card. So it's like, ooh, now there's gonna be this. So is he really gonna still want the step card? Um, and then Apple Podcasts was another thing. There's gonna be a subscription service offered. So with the new hardware offered, you can also be streaming a lot of you know really great podcasts. And they, um, Tim Cook said that that's gonna launch in 170 countries and regions next month. And just you know a lot of really cool stuff like that. And I, it just, everything caught my attention today. Uh, especially the purple iPhone 12 uh, yes. that is going to be out um, uh, later this month. <laughs> yeah, the colors of the IMAX, I mean, there's seven colors. And it reminds me of back in the 90s with the, um, the IMAX that it was called, what, the G3 or whatever. But you all had all those bright colors and pastels. And so now there's seven different colors you can pick from pink and purple blue green yellow silver and orange i think orange. is the other color so yeah. yeah so but they're really cool so it's going to appeal to you know teenagers young adults anybody who wants a little bit of splash on their desk area do you have a favorite color karen that you've seen already well i mean i'm i'm a, I'm a tennessee fan so naturally orange would be what i would go with which is a little obnoxious but hey i i love the array of colors i think it's fun you know it adds a little bit of a little pop of something uh, to our hardware. And, you know, obviously the iPad Pro, that's one of the things a lot of people are talking about, on, especially on social media and different threads like that. People excited about, about the options here. Well, the iPad Pro is really cool. I wrote a story the other day on five things that would make me buy a new iPad because I have not gotten a new iPad since 2015. So the one that they released today, well, it was really two, two different sizes of the iPad Pro. It's really tempting. There's a lot of new features and they have the Apple, the M1 chip. So they just have a lot more power and a lot more capability than the previous iPad. I thought it was really interesting. And then the tie in again to the podcast, to being able to stream, um, you know, just things that mean we're probably never going to leave our house. I'm not sure. But another thing that I thought was really interesting were the air tags, because this is 
six years after Tile made a big splash with, you know, it was its first year in business, 2014. And by 2015, they had sold 2 million tiles. So I'm just kind of curious what the demand still is for a tracking device. Do you have any thoughts on that? It'll be interesting, I think, uh, to see how people um, resp- how people use tracking devices mm-hmm. like this once we kind of go back to traveling, um, which we haven't been doing because of the pandemic. You know, I had a tile uh, clipped onto the inside of my backpack uh, that I would, you know, take with me through airports, take with me to the office. Um, but obviously, I haven't gone anywhere in a, in at least a year, and so it kind of doesn't really help me uh, by just telling me my backpack is in the same spot it is on the floor <laughs> that it has been for a year. Um, so I do think there's there there is for people who are already within the Apple ecosystem, you know, who already have iPhones, who already use the Find My feature on that, to have a tracking device uh, that fits within that ecosystem. So Samsung has its own. Um, set of tracking devices that they rolled out uh, a while back. Um, I have, and it works perfectly fine, uh, but for folks who are already within the Apple ecosystem, you know, that's not really, um, uh, not really as easy an option uh, to to use. So I think there will be some uptake on it. I I like the fact that it has a replaceable, user replaceable battery. They're claiming a one-year battery life. The price point's pretty good, 29 bucks for one of them, $99 for a pack of four. Uh, that, that's pretty good. It has interesting features in it, like an accelerometer. I thought that's pretty good. Um, Apple did make a, a big deal about the privacy uh, features built in the device. And I, and I thought that was notable as well, especially with some of the things, some of the news uh, are surrounding iOS uh, 14.5, some of the changes around privacy they're, ma- they're making there, although that wasn't part of the event. But you know, I think that was something uh, interesting there. So we'll just have to see whether or not uh, people still need them, uh, especially with the new, I guess, Hermes uh, designer accessory, because <laughs> everybody needs that, you know, hanging off their, uh, hanging off their bags. Yeah, no, no doubt there. Uh, but what about thoughts on the iMac? Yeah, so obviously, you know, as Tina was talking about, the, the two big hardware updates that we got uh, were the iPad Pro, the new M1 iPad Pro, and then the new iMac. Uh, and people were expecting uh, both of those, so I was glad to see them. Um, the iMac, you know, is has been completely redesigned. It has a completely uh, redesigned case, so it's much thinner now uh, compared to the older, uh, the, the current design for iMacs. Um, it has a single pane of glass on the front. So even if, you're, if you saw some of the photos uh, and you see that there's a colored sort of band at the bottom of that, it's still, it's not metal. So in previous iMacs, older generations, you might've had glass uh, in the front and then a metal strip at the bottom. This is all glass panel. Um, and then obviously a uh, color uh, on the back, seven different colors that Tina was uh, talking about earlier. Um, you know, the, the iMac is something that needed a refresh. I'm glad to see they did it. Um, I'm glad to see that the M1, and thanks to the fact of the uh, power consumption, the less need for cooling uh, than the current line of processors in the iMac, that they've been able to make the, the iMac thinner, much lighter. I think it comes in around 10 pounds. And so that's really good. I won't say it's a completely new trend with iMacs because they have been doing this for several years because the M1, because all the hardware is basically on a single board, um, the processor, your storage, your RAM, it's, they're not really upgradable. They're not uh, as repairable or as user serviceable as they used to be, but that's, that's kind of par for the course for the recent several last generations of iMacs. Um, I, I think it's, I, I'm glad to see they did it. Um, I do think that we only got one size. So you got a 24 uh, inch, the 20, there is no 27 inch uh, version of the new iMac. I suspect there, there probably will be. um, Although uh, they might decide that if you're really going that big, uh, that they want you to go step up to say one of their external monitors or a a Mac Pro or or a mini running one of their large external monitors. Um, But for people who are um, knowledge workers who want a desktop that's an all-in-one, um, who are looking for, who maybe don't need the power of a, a Mac Pro um, or a Mac a MacBook Pro and an external monitor. Um, for people who are current iMac users, yeah, I think it's a really uh, a really good option and a solid hardware upgrade. 
Yeah, and when you mentioned, you know, Tina, with people working from home and just the, the influence and impact of the last year of what we've been through uh, with this pandemic, interesting to see how things are kind of shaped around that now uh, in terms of offerings that we're seeing, to how, how to better help those that are working from home. Right. I mean, because one of the things that was said about the new iMac is how small its footprint is. And it's only, Bill mentioned that it's thin, but um, it's 11.5 millimeters thin. So they wow. said it's 50% less volume in the device than the previous um, iMac. So it, they, I think the 21 and a half inch, they said. So it's really remarkable how much smaller and um, frankly cool that this new one looks. Um, one other thing that they mentioned um, was the Apple 4K TV. We haven't brought that up, I don't believe, but that was really interesting. And that has not been available before. There's also a new revamped Siri remote for it. And again, it just seems to be one more way to, you know, make us all happy as we sit in our homes more, because even after the pandemic, everyone seems to be accustomed to the idea of we're going to be out less just because we've become more used to it. So you know, that was another theme, Karen, I, I think of the, the show. If, if Throughout these Apple events, if you're used to watching them, you usually see a product, You they talk about the hardware, the specs, they, they show some of them off. Um, I, I miss the old events that were live mm -hmm. and in person yeah. because you actually got to see the physical devices. Um, it's really hard to tell in these recorded events uh, how much of the device, how much of the devices are photos mm -hmm. um, and how much are maybe compute 3D renderings of the, of the devices, right. obviously um, not during the promo videos they show. And that's what I'm, that, that's what I was kind of getting to. So you, you see the product, you see the specs, you, you see Apple personnel talking about them, and then you see them in real life. You see them being used. And a lot of those videos, it was interesting to me, they always show people doing interesting things or people trying to use them in real life. But to Tina's point, it was really interesting to see folks using them in a way that I think sort of uh, exemplifies our new normal, the, the mm -hmm. way folks are kind of using uh, the devices um, uh, in, in th that we've all come to do uh, during uh, the COVID pandemic. Like with the M1, they played up the camera. Finally, there's a 1080p front facing camera on a laptop. I mean, that's probably been one of my biggest disappointments with Apple hardware for years is that you would buy a thousand dollar, a two thousand dollar laptop, and it has a 720p camera in the front of it. Right. Um, and for for all of us who are on camera, that's you know that that's that's a difficult thing because we have to use third party webcams. And hey, who's been able to buy a webcam in the last year? No, well, right. maybe in the last couple months, but right. you know. You try it in the first couple months of 2020 and you're out of luck. So I think that that was something else mm -hmm. um, that was interesting within the hardware is to see how changes in the bigger world mm -hmm. are affecting kind of the hardware and how that hardware is being talked about by the vendors like Apple. Yeah. Definitely. And, and, you know, when we, we talk about, uh, you know, expectations and reality and what was actually presented today, final thoughts from both of you guys, Tina, we'll start with you. Um, I mean, do you feel like this was kind of what we expected? Is it more than we expected? And, and just your final thoughts on it? Sure. I thought that there was going to definitely be iPads mentioned based on the rumors. I yeah. thought there might be an Apple pencil that there could be new AirPods, but I wasn't sure about those last two. I did not expect the iMac announcement that was new, and I didn't expect the new purple color for the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 mini. So overall, it felt like I had thought it was going to be a little bit of a lightweight kind of event, but overall, it, there was a lot announced, and it really felt like there was some content and some hardware that people are going to be interested in. So I see it as Apple taking advantage of a really good opportunity right now when people are wanting to buy new computers, they're wanting to buy these new devices. I mean, frankly, the iPad at the top of the line when it starts at 11, I mean, 1099. So it's quite expensive, but it does a lot. You put a keyboard with that. I'm sure there's some uses where you can just replace a computer with it or a laptop. And that seems to be what they're aiming for. So it's just, it seems like the perfect line up for right now and then we still have the june 7th event to come and that's going to bring some more cool stuff yeah agree bill what do you think Can consumers happy with what they uh what they saw today 
Well, you know, it's interesting because I think that, you know, I didn't expect a lot from the event. Honestly, I, I did affect, I, I did expect, you know, the iPad pro uh, refresh with the M one. We, we kind of, there was a lot of buzz around that. Um, you know, unlike Tina, I, I, I did kind of think they would roll out um, M one IMAX, you know, that, that had also been rumored. Um, I, but I was very surprised by the, I guess the amount of stuff that they packed into this event and the amount of change to the iMac. What I thought was really interesting was when they showed a picture of the iMac evolution over the, the decades, right? All the, you know, some of the favorites like the gumdrop mm -hmm. um, iMac, yeah. the, the, some of the, um, the, the one that, 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 you know, the, the old ones that were white and the ones that were, mm -hmm. you know, silver, some of the big, thick first all in one or the, the sort of the, uh, the, the all in one style that we can't the current generation. And then, so I was, I was really impressed that there was such a radical change mm -hmm. um, to, to the design. So, and, and it may not seem like people say, well, look, it's the same kind of you know, it's the same, you know, kind of machine, but it was, I was impressed by that. I was impressed by the colors. Um, I was impressed by, you know, you're using a power brick now, you know, you, you do have to use that. That's part of the reason they can make it so thin. They move the power, some of the power components outside of the device. So I was pleasantly surprised with the amount of stuff that they did, but, mm -hmm. but I will say the biggest thing that I was surprised about, and I tweeted this during the show was the fact that air tags finally exist. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you know, we've, we've been talking about that for I don't know how many years now right. it's been rumored every single event I think that, that that I can in recent memory it's been will it come out will it be announced this year um, to see them finally come out I was like oh wow they oh. really are are real. Um, and then you know, I, so I think there was a lot there for both consumers. Uh, but also for business professionals yeah. too. I mean, I, I do think the iPad Pro, especially, there's a lot to like there if you're someone who's looking for um, a, a combination kind of mobile device, but with a lot more power than you get on a regular tablet. I still, I've used an iPad Pro uh, for the previous generation. And now I'm kind of disappointed because the new one's supposed to be uh 50 faster than that. And I just got yeah. it last year, but yeah, there was, a, there was a lot to like in this, uh, in, in the spring event. Yeah, I agree. Uh, most certainly. And of course, there's a lot to unpack here. You know, a lot of information was presented and, uh, the good news is we have all of that and much more on tech Republic, of course, from Apple's spring loaded event. And we will hope, hope that you will all check it out there. Uh, on behalf of uh, Tina and bill, we appreciate you watching us here today again for much more check out tech Republic. Thanks for watching.